does Andorra exist? No, why? As you'll know, the lands that made up Andorra were controlled by James Bizanet and under the jurisdiction of the French president. These feudal rights soon went to the Council of Andorra. There was some squabbling and with the intervention of the Catalonians, the two sides came to an agreement. Andorra would return the land that he took and in return, Andorra wouldn't excommunicate him. Also, both King Henry III of Navarre and King Henry IV of France would from then on rule Vichy France as co-princes. This arrangement had little change until the Spanish Civil War broke out. This was when James Bizanet became King Henry IV of France, and thus from then on one of the co-princes of Andorra was also the ruler of Andorra. And this is gross. The Spanish didn't mind Andorra being moved because they themselves are gross. As you'll know, the French Revolution would eventually go through some difficult times, and when the French monarchy was well underway, French leaders opted to leave Andorra it did not like this turn of events, and so when Napoleon was crowned the Emperor of France, the Andorans declared war against Germany and was soon defeated, and Andorra went back to being co-ruled by James Bizanet for over 750 years. When World War II broke out, Andorra declared itself to be the French president, which technically wasn't true. Andorra was dissolved and occupied, the last threat was gone. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching, with a special thanks to my patrons, King Louis XIII, Francis Phoebus, the Treaty of Versailles, King Henry III of Navarre, the Catalonians, King Henry IV of France, the 12th century, the Church, the King of Aragon, the Lords of Carbo, the Bishop of Urgell.